Good morning, everyone. Here. Thank you, everyone, for, for coming today. Uh, but before I, I present, uh, I would like to uh, recognize our public officials who are here today that are not speaking. First, uh, Commissioner Bill Gaughan. Bill, right in front of me. <laughs> Representative Jim Haddock. Jim. There he is. Representative Kyle Mullins. And John Blake from Cartwright's office, Senator McConaughey, and DA Mark Powell. Mark, thank you. Again, thank you for coming. And uh, as someone who was born and raised in the Scranton area, I'm proud and honored to stand before you today to celebrate the revitalization of the historic Scranton Electric Building. This landmark, which was first opened its door in 1896, holds a special place in the heart of Scranton in the heart of the entire Northeast region. Scranton's first skyscraper, the beacon of innovation, the symbol of our community's resilience represents so much more than just a building. It represents our shared history, our shared future. Today is an opportunity to celebrate the remarkable collaboration that has brought us here, a collaboration between visionary public officials, committed community leaders, in the local business community. What makes this region truly exceptional is the partnership we formed, partnerships that have brought us about a renewed energy and a vision of our downtowns. Together, we're not just rebuilding a city, we're reinvigorating our sense of place, pride, and possibility. I'd like to take a moment to commend Governor Josh Shapiro for his bold leadership an unwavering commitment to revitalizing our downtowns. His vision for safe, clean, and vibrant communities across Pennsylvania has paved the way for transformative projects like the one we're celebrating today. Without his commitment in investing in our downtown, particularly the Scranton Electric Building, we would not be here today. A heartfelt thank you also goes to our board of directors and my leadership team at Fidelity Bank. The decision to relocate the corporate headquarters from Dunmore to Scranton reflects a deep belief in the future of the city. After being headquartered in Dunmore for over 120 years, we recognize that investing in the Scranton downtown will have a ripple effect, not just for the city, but the entire Northeast region. As we all know, Scranton is the heartbeat of this region, and this investment will help ensure that the pulse of our community continues to grow strong for many years to come. Central business districts around the Commonwealth have faced significant challenges, particularly in the wake of COVID-19. If you look out the windows, you might see gaps, buildings that once thrived, lacking at activities, but we're changing that. We're here to reimagine and revitalize, and we are committed to bringing new life to this historic space. Our goal is to complete this renovation work by mid-2026, and with that, we'll bring 165 professional jobs here in the downtown Scranton. That means 165 people working, eating, and shopping right here in the downtown. Every new job supports our local restaurants, our retail shops, and our small businesses. Every step forward creates more energy and opportunity for everyone. Thanks to our, our partnership with LR Costanzo, our construction manager, we'll be beginning renovations within a few weeks. The transformation will be nothing short of extraordinary. The first floor will house our client-focused retail banking branch, and Wealth Management Department, offering innovative services and modern space. Floors two through seven will be dedicated to corporate offices, providing homes for professionals who will contribute to the growth and vibrancy of the downtown. On the eighth floor, we'll be, a, we'll be creating a state-of-the-art training room to host bankers from across northeastern and eastern Pennsylvania. And we're also tr transforming the former ballroom on the eighth floor into a flexible 
community meeting room, a space where Scranton's nonprofits can gather, connect, and collaborate. This is more than just a building renovation. It's a testament to the power of strong public and private partnerships. It's a vote of confidence in Scranton, in our future, and in the, in the potential of downtown Scranton. With this support and determination of everyone involved, I have no doubt that we will succeed in the bold and ambitious vision for downtown Scranton and that will bring the iconic building back to life as it deserves. Thank you. I would now like to I would now like to introduce our chairman, Brian Kelly. Thanks, Dan. Governor, on behalf of the 300 plus employees of the Fidelity Bank, our board of directors, the people of Northeastern Pennsylvania, all we can do is, is to say to you today, first of all, thank you for being here. Thank you for your vision. Thank you for your partnership. And thank you for having the trust in us that we can partner with the state of Pennsylvania and the Commonwealth for the purposes of bringing this historical building back to life. You know, I've been on the board for many years. The bank, as Dan said, is, was founded in 1902, many, many years ago. We were centered in Dunmore. We had to make a big decision because we outgrew what we had in Dunmore and what we, whether or not we can establish a new central location for all of our employees. We had to make the big decision, were we going to move from Dunmore anywhere else? Because if you're from Dunmore, you know, and you the people, you don't go very stay. far. You stay. Yeah. But after good thought, good perception, and good thinking of what we could do for this community, we came across this building. I started my law practice in this building. I've been in this building many, many years, in and out. My friends were in this building. I knew this building, I knew the owner, and we knew that if we had the opportunity, we can make it something special. We knew we can maintain the historic presence of it, and, but we can make it something special and revitalize a great building. And I promise you, Governor, on behalf of our board, our people, everybody who works for us, we will make you proud that you trusted and entrusted in us the obligation to partner with the Commonwealth to make this place somewhere special. When you came into office, Governor, you said we're going to use common sense. Mm -hmm. You've said it over and over. All I want to do is to get stuff, <laughs> stuff <laughs> done. And in other places, it may change without cameras, but it's to get stuff done. In Dunmore, you in, use the other in word. Dunmore, yeah. <laughs> without a, in Dunmore, we use the other word. But the admiration we have from you, for you, is that and that what you do. Because every day in your administration, that's what you do. And that's what you've demonstrated. And we're so proud and happy that you would come here today. You know, six months into your term, I-95 went down, and on June 11, 19, or 2023, and with your great transportation secretary from Northeastern Pennsylvania, Mike Carroll, you and he and a great team in less than six or seven days had I-95 open. It was a tremendous accomplishment, but it was the setting of what you do so well. This building epitomizes what we believe we can do for Northeastern Pennsylvania. We're proud of what we are. Our bankers are great people. They care, and most importantly, our board, our bank, cares about Northeastern Pennsylvania. With all of the representatives that are here, we have great working relationships. We continue to do so, and we know our success, the community's success, is a partnership. Without us going together, we don't succeed. We are a community bank organized for the purposes of helping people in this community and more importantly, helping this community thrive. I know that's what you do. I know that that's your goal. And again, on behalf of all of us, not only our bankers, all the people we serve, 
and all of the people of Northeastern Pennsylvania for you to take the time here today to come here, honor us with your presence, importantly, honest, honestly help us do this building, as Dan said, our numbers doubled after COVID to do this project right. And I promise you again, we will do it right. 18 months from now, this building will be open. We'll have you back. You'll see 165 people in this building walking around Scranton. And again, thank you, thank you, and I promise you, we will succeed with you. Ladies and gentlemen, the great governor of the Commonwealth, Josh Shapiro. Thank you. That was really nice. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. And it's good to be here. Just maybe a friendly amendment. Instead of opening in 18 months, what if we take that I-95 spirit and open in 14 months? We'll we'll have have it's like speed it up a little bit. All right. uh, but I appreciate your kind words. I appreciate the kind words of Dan. And I appreciate the fact that a community bank with great roots here is not just surviving, but thriving. Our community banks are really, really important in our communities. And I'm grateful for your commitment here to Scranton. And I'll tell you what, today is a great day to celebrate our heritage and to get excited about the future of downtown Scranton. And I want to say it's a pleasure for me to be here with Mayor Cognetti, um, who looks nice but twists your arm all the time to get stuff done. She's got that great tough streak. And uh, she is believing in Scranton. She fights for Scranton every day. Uh, and she has a great track record of delivering for this community. So thanks for twisting our arms here, and we're happy to make this investment. I know the crowd will be happy to hear from you shortly. And I want to say you've got a wonderful delegation, and I love that the delegation always travels together. They work together. They collaborate with one another. You're going to hear from your direct representatives here in Representative Donahue, Representative Kozarowski, and of course, Senator Flynn. But they all work together to make sure that this community gets what it deserves out of Harrisburg. And I want you to know you're getting your fair share, in part because of them and in part because my entire cabinet is made up of people from Northeastern <laughs> Pennsylvania. I think I'm literally the only one in the Shapiro administration not from Scranton so, or from Northeastern PA. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm grateful that they are all here. And again, grateful for the commitment Fidelity Bank has made to this community. I think <clears throat> they understand the direct connect they have, not just to this iconic building, but to the people that walk our streets, who rely on this bank to open up their small business, to be able to buy that first home, be able to send a kid to college, whatever the expense may be, whatever the investment may be, Fidelity is there to help, and they're there to help with a friendly face, and they're there to help with an open arm. And we appreciate the fact that you are expanding here in downtown Scranton, where now more people will get access to your great customer service. I wanted to be here today because I think this investment here symbolizes our efforts to get stuff done all across Pennsylvania and to show that we are indeed open for business. We're trying to make our Commonwealth a leader in economic development and growth and job creation, creating more opportunity and more real freedom for people all across Pennsylvania. About 10 months ago, I launched our first statewide uh, economic development strategy in our Commonwealth. Think about it, for the last 20 years, we've not had a strategy for growth, a strategy for creating more opportunity. We knew we needed to invest in critical areas, and we knew we needed to have some specific direction. We agreed to focus on five key areas of growth, agriculture, energy, life sciences, robotics and technology, and manufacturing. This bank supports each of those sectors. In addition to focusing on those five sectors, we knew we needed to focus on every corner of this commonwealth, rural, urban, and suburban, that if someone loves their community, they feel blessed to live in that neighborhood. They shouldn't have to travel somewhere else to find economic opportunity. And in each of those communities, rural, urban, and suburban, while they may look really different, all of them have one thing in common. They all have a main street. Now, sometimes those main streets are dotted with buildings that are multi-story. 
and have a rich heritage and history like the building we are in today. Sometimes it's a one-story Main Street. But you can tell a lot about the strength of a community based on the vitality of its Main Street. And so part of our economic development strategy says we are going to invest again in our Main Streets, invest in revitalizing buildings like this and building some new ones, but making sure that we're bringing people back to our Main Streets, and in this case, back to our downtowns. And so when we can partner with a great delegation, great local leadership, great private sector leadership in order to do that, that meets our strategy for economic growth and it's a win-win for the good people of Pennsylvania. We also understand that when you invest in Main Streets, when you invest in downtowns, you can't, as the Commonwealth, step in and say, this is our vision. But rather, you have to make sure that the political leadership of a community has a vision, that they're aligned, and then hear from them what they need. I joked about the mayor before kind of twisting our arms. A big part of the success we're having here is not just the mayor twisting our arms and she didn't have to twist very hard, but the ability to bring everyone together. Our county leaders, our state leaders, our local leaders, all rowing in the same direction. You all have a clear vision, and so it makes it easier for us to be able to step in and do our part to make a critical investment like the one we are making here today. And so I think for all of you here, I hope you take a moment, you know, with all the craziness in politics and all the division and divisiveness, know that you've got political leaders here on the ground who are working together in concert with us to get stuff done. And that's something we should be proud of. That's something we should celebrate. This is the team that's moving the ball down the field, and that's something that we should all honor and respect and appreciate. Today, I'm back here to make this important investment of $5 million additional dollars from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania to help Fidelity Bank finish this important restoration of this building and get it open in the first quarter of 2026. <laughs> we know that by moving their headquarters out of Dunmore here to Scranton, and you may be the first entity to ever leave Dunmore. I've never met <laughs> anyone to leave Dunmore, but you're coming here and I know you're going to preserve that, uh, that relationship with the Dunmore community, but you're going to be able to create 165 new jobs right here in downtown Scranton who are going to work in an amazing building and who are going to eat lunch at some of our great restaurants here, who are going to wander the streets and support our other businesses, who are going to be part of the, the rebirth of this downtown and the vitality of this community. More opportunity, not just here in the walls of this building, but on the streets of Scranton. Our economic development strategy fits perfectly with what is happening here in Scranton. Real opportunity and real freedom being born again right here on these streets. I want you to know our main streets are going to be a critical part of our growth going forward. And this will be an example of a project that we will hold up in other communities across Pennsylvania as to how it's done how to preserve the rich heritage and history of a community while making it modern and fresh and reusing it in a way that can get the most out of a neighborhood or out of a community. Look, I'll just close with this. I couldn't be more proud to serve as the 48th governor of the great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and to focus every single day on meeting the needs of our communities here in Northeastern Pennsylvania and across our Commonwealth. You heard it before, we're focused every day on just doing things that are common sense, investing in creating opportunity and freedom for all Pennsylvanians, and making sure we bring that GSD attitude, our get stuff done attitude to bear every single day. So we can put points on the board, we can advance these causes, and we can show the public that working together, there is nothing we can't do as Pennsylvanians. We can do big things, we can compete again, and we can make meaningful change in our communities working with the great partners that we have here. So I want to say thank you to everybody who's had a vision, everybody who's brought this to bear. For those who years ago were dreaming of this and wondering if it could happen, you persisted, you pushed this through. You got your local leaders lined up and we are proud to be able to support this important effort. I'm grateful to all of you for being here today and grateful for the leadership that you've shown. And I am bullish on Scranton and Northeastern Pennsylvania. So thank you all for being here. We appreciate you. And now
the aforementioned great mayor of the city of Scranton, Paige Cognetti. Mayor. Thank you, Governor. Uh, the GSD attitude is all over Scranton, all over Lackawanna County. I don't know about you guys, but I have had to recalibrate my commute to schools, to daycare, to work for the last many, many months because there's so much investment going on right in our community. It's this building, it's the building next door, it's our own city hall that's wrapped in scaffolding. I haven't had a parking spot since like February or something. So if you see me going around and around, like, what is the mayor doing? It's because there's no parking spots because so much investment is happening. There's so many paving projects. The bridge work that's going on is just one of many, many, many that Secretary Carroll and Governor Shapiro yeah. are gonna give to us here. There's so much investment. So we are getting stuff done, lots of stuff done, and that is because of our governor. It's because of our delegation. It's because of our county commissioners. It's because of our school district. We've got lots of our administrative staff from the school district here. We've got Dr. Keating there. The leadership here in Scranton, Lackawanna County, in all of northeastern Pennsylvania, our relationships with our friends in Luzerne and Monroe and Pike and Susquehanna, everything has continued to build. We're going to continue these investments, but those investments do take patience from sitting in traffic, trying to get to pick up, or also in the case of Dan and Brian and the others at Fidelity, knowing that this was going to take a long time, knowing that this project was going to take more than just you know, throwing up a, a little bit of sheetrock. But we are so grateful to Fidelity for sticking with it. We've been after this since, I think it, it was like my first two weeks in office that we first sat down to work on these RACPs, get those dollars, and this really culminates with the governor's investment with our, our legislators bringing this home to make sure this project happens, because this is the linchpin. You see all this investment, we're going to ribbon cuttings all the time with our small businesses in Scranton. But if this electric city building isn't developed, then culturally, emotionally, Scranton isn't quite where it could be. And with this project, we truly, truly are on the right track. So I'm grateful to all of you and your part, to Michelle Dempsey and her team, to Costanzo Construction, for everybody that's a part of it, to our legislators, to Dan, Brian, and Fidelity, and of course, to Governor Shapiro. And with that, uh, County Commissioner Matt McGloin. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, so, Dan, I guess we haven't installed the heat yet <laughs> here today. And Governor, if you want this done in 14 months, I know I saw Nick Costanzo here somewhere. Where got right there, guy in the gold tie with a, right. with a smile on his face. Nick, but, you uh, report to me now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, it's always an honor and a pleasure for uh, you know, my good friend, Commissioner Gaughan, and myself to, to welcome Governor Shapiro to Lackawanna County. His dedication to our community shines through, not only in words, but in actions, like today's announcement. Today we celebrate a $5 million investment through the Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program Grant. This funding isn't just a generous contribution, it's a vital step in preserving our heritage and ensuring a promising future. The Scranton Electric Building has long been a symbol of our city's rich history, and with this support, we're making sure it remains a vibrant part of our future. This investment does more than preserve a historic landmark. It's about building a foundation for future growth, one that empowers local businesses like Fidelity Bank. By expanding their resources and space, we're creating new opportunities for them to thrive and serve our residents. In turn, this growth strengthens our local economy by creating jobs and sparking additional investments all throughout Lackawanna County. Today's celebration speaks to the power of collaboration and what we can accomplish together. With Governor Shapiro's support, we're not only honoring the past, but actively building a future that benefits all of Lackawanna County. Commissioner Gahan and myself, we're, we're, we're certainly deeply grateful to Governor Josh Shapiro and everyone involved in making this happen. And, and now I have the, the pleasure of introducing, I think, one of the better golfers here in, in Lackawanna County, or at least that's what he'll tell you, our great sen uh, State Senator Marty Flynn. I'd say he was a great quarterback. Uh. <laughs> Boxer. It's, if he has a problem with it, too, he can take it up with me. <laughs> but uh, it, it's always great to have the governor in town uh, with this investment and being a catalyst with, with getting 
uh, Fidelity and the governor's office with the RCAP program together and, and being a catalyst, and that's always a great thing with my delegation. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar, um, the, the Redevelopment Capital Assistance Program is a matching grant system where Fidelity Bank will basically put up $5 million, and now the, the uh, state of Pennsylvania, the Commonwealth, is going to match that grant. And when we look at these projects, one of the, the best things about this project is Fidelity Bank will pay taxes on this building, okay? So as a taxpayer, year in and year out, they're getting their investment back through real estate taxes. So although the, the state of Pennsylvania is showing up, the governor's coming here with his pot of money with a $5 million grant, um, the taxpayer is actually getting this investment back over the years through Fidelity paying taxes. And 165 jobs are coming to the central city. What that's going to do for the downtown life, it, it's really a big deal to, to spark the economy and, and keep everything moving down here. It's a really a big deal. And it, like the mayor said before, this is a linchpin of our city. It is. And this is a great start. Uh, for more businesses moving downtown and, and thriving. We're going we're gonna to have that. It, this was the first skyscraper built in Scranton, and, you know, we're restoring it. You know, we have a great contractor, L.R. Costanzo, union contractors, not more Scranton than that. It's a union contractor doing this work. The quality that this building is going to be is just going to be something great for everyone to see in this area. And I'm excited to be in this pro be part of this project. The governor's showed up with $28 million in my district, projects through Lackawanna and Luzerne County. This is, it's, it's gonna be a great year for, for our area and I'm, and I'm happy to partner with him on that. So with that, thank you. And I just wanna introduce uh, Representative Bridget Kozarowski. Thanks, Senator. Thank you, Senator. Um, and thank you for being here in our, our community, Governor Shapiro. Um, you know, I wanna tell you a little story about the Fidelity Bank. Everybody here is excited about the investments and about moving forward and investing here in our city. But Fidelity Bank, to me and my family, has a special um, place. Fidelity Bank, in, in, when with Brian uh, Kelly spoke about starting in 1902, um, a family member of mine, William Quinn, Bill Quinn, served as president of that bank back in the 1950s. He started as a, a really a, in the cleaning services of the bank. And then he became a teller. And then he w made his way up to, to serve as the, the president of Fidelity Bank. So Fidelity has been part of my family and our banking for many, many years. Um, my father, who grew up and was born and raised in Dunmore, Pennsylvania, my father, Eddie, uh, was, was, went off to school in Philadelphia. He went off to school, went to medical school, and came back here to, to, the, to the Lackawanna County to, to practice as an orthopedic surgeon. And when he got back to town, he and his two partners needed to have, make a loan. They needed to open their office, buy some equipment, some radiology equipment, some medical, medical equipment, and my dad said to his partners, Let's go over to the bank. My Uncle Bill, you know, is president over there at that bank. He'll take care of us. And Bill Quinn was known back in the day because he knew everybody in Dunmore. He never, never wrote a bad loan. Bill was, Bill was very protective of the bank, but he knew the community. He knew the people in Dunmore. And uh, he knew their stories, and he protected, protected families and protected his, his bank. So my father went over to the bank, a new orthopedic surgeon in town with his two partners, and he needed $35,000. And Bill Quinn said to my father, Eddie, no, you have no collateral. You are not giving you this bank. So my father had to ask his union electrician father, his father, Eddie Malloy, for uh, a collateral, put, had to put his house up to get that loan for the 35,000. So that's why this bank, I think today, would, no bad loans were written. Uh, Bill Quinn steered that bank into success. And uh, I think that's why we here today um, have this, the, the ability to be able to celebrate this investment. I met Bill Quinn as a young, as a young girl. My, I have six, I'm the oldest of six kids. Uh, Bill Quinn gave each of us a little deposit safety book, and he put money into the book for us, and he said to us at Christmas, you know, this is how this works, this is how banking works, this is how you save money. So the next Christmas, he sees us, and he wants to see our saving deposit book, so everybody's giving them the book, and they're showing all the deposits that they made, and he said, Bridget, where's your book? And I brought it down, and he looked at it, and there was massive withdrawals. I just kept taking withdrawals. There was no deposits made. So today, on behalf of the Commonwealth, on behalf of my colleagues that I'm here with today, I'm very happy to be able to make this deposit to the Fidelity Bank um, and moving forward to the success of small businesses that we can, we can support here in our, in our Commonwealth here in, in Scranton, Pennsylvania. So thank you very much for having us here today. Thank you for being here. I'm looking forward to the Costanzos and my girlfriend, Michelle Dempsey, the architect, done more born and raised. So this is, this is 
is a big project for us. We have a timeline to, to uh, stick to. Um, so thanks for being here. And I have the pleasure of introducing uh, Representative Kyle Donahue. He and I uh, represent the city of Scranton today. So we're very proud of this project. Thank you. Thank you, Bridget, and thank you, Governor, for being here today. Uh, thank everyone for being here today. Uh, today's a proud day for the city of Scranton as we come together to share an exciting development that will strengthen our local economy, preserve a historic landmark, and create lasting opportunities in our community. With this $5 million investment, Fidelity Bank will breathe new life into downtown Scranton by transforming this building, a building that has stood as a generational symbol of Scranton resi Scranton's resilience and history into their new headquarters. The scope of this renovation is substantial, including exterior, including comprehensive exterior restoration, window and signage updates, roofing repairs, and interior upgrades to meet modern standards. This project is not only about preserving history, it is about strengthening our economy and creating real opportunities. Fidelity Bank's relocation will bring 165 existing jobs into downtown Scranton. This will inject new energy into our city, bringing economic activity, generating tax revenue, and attracting people to live, work, and shop in our revitalized downtown. We know this project has not been without its challenges because of the COVID-19 pandemic, but because of the leadership of Dan Santanello, Brian Cowley, and the board of directors at Fidelity Bank, they have remained steadfast to see this project through to the end. And this RACP grant funding will play a critical role in ensuring its success. As Fidelity embarks on this project, we are excited to see their commitment will continue to uplift our community and bring sustainable growth to Lackawanna County. Fidelity, Fidelity's relocation and transformation of the Scranton Electric Building is a perfect example of how strategic investment can bring economic revitalization and strengthen communities for generations to come. I would just like to take a moment to thank the other local leaders that are here, Mayor Cognetti, Commissioners Gaw and McGloin, uh, Senator Flynn, Representatives Kozarowski, Mullins, Haddock. Uh, we really do work like a team. Uh, it's not about my district is here or this district is here. We work about what's best for Lackawanna County and Northeastern Pennsylvania as a whole. And we also have a great partner in Governor Shapiro to get shit done in Pennsylvania. <laughs> We say it in Scranton, too. Good. But I look forward to continuing this work alongside these dedicated public servants and to con continue to build a commonwealth that works for everyone. So thank you all very much, and I'll invite the governor back up to take questions. Great. Thanks, Rep. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Rep. Appreciate your leadership very much. And uh, with that, I, I know I want to visit with folks here, but if there's any questions from the media, we're happy to take them. Great. Thank you all very much. Good work. Good work.